सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक हेल्थ एंड फिजिकल एजुकेशन द टेक्स्ट बुक फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर सेवन टीम गेम्स सेवन पॉइंट सेवन खो 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 इज वन ऑफ द पॉपुलर इंडिजिनस गेम्स ऑफ इंडिया एंड इज एन इनएक्सपेंसिव स्पोर्ट लाइक कबड्डी बिकॉज इट डज नॉट रिक्वायर मच इक्विपमेंट Many historians are of the view that the game of kho kho is a modified version of run and chase. In ancient era, a version of the kho kho game was played on raths or chariots in Maharashtra. This was known as rathera. First sets of kho kho rules were framed in the earlier part of 1900. A committee was constituted by the Jimkhana Pune in 1914 for framing the kho kho rules. and the first kho kho rule book was published in 1924 by jimkhana baroda 7.7.1 kho kho play field equipment and facilities the playground of kho kho is rectangular the dimensions are as follows length 29 meter the width of kho kho play field is 16 meter free zone is 2.75 meter first line from the post is 2.50 meter page number 99 at the top of the page we have a figure figure 7.26 kho kho play field let's know more about a kho kho play field the playground of kho kho is rectangular in shape length of a kho kho field is 29 meter width is 16 meter free zone is 2.75 meter First line from the post is 2.50 meter. First square to second square is equal to 2.30 meter. Height of the post is equal to 120 to 125 centimeter. At both sides where the field ends is known as end line. On both sides we have a free zone post. On one side we have runners entry zone. Behind that we have an area for the coach or the manager to sit. Then there is a time keeper and a scorer. Now there are two parallel lines from one pole to another known as the central lane the parallel lanes cutting the central line at the middle of the playing area is called a cross line first square to second square 2.30 meter height of the post 120 to 125 cm activity 7.16 keep all equipment together and make a kho kho court in your school 7.7.2 how to play kho kho there are two teams each team consists of 12 players out of which nine players shall take the field in the beginning of the game the team that wins the toss shall have the option of chasing or running any eight chasers shall occupy the squares facing the sidelines in such a way that no two adjacent chasers face the same sideline the ninth chaser shall start the chase The first batch of 3 runners shall be inside in the play field and the remaining runners shall sit outside in the area marked for them. Page number 100. After a runner is out, he or she shall sit outside in the marked area. Chaser shall not leave the square without getting kho. Attacker shall not cross the central lane if she or he does so it will be a foul. Kho is to be given from behind the chaser. After giving a kho, a raider shall sit down immediately in the square of the sitting chaser. After getting a kho, the sitting chaser shall become an active chaser and move in the half that she he was facing. A chaser shall move in the direction she or he turns the right shoulder first. If she or he twists the shoulder more than a right angle in the opposite direction, it shall be a foul. During a turn an attacker may go out of court but she or he shall observe all the rules about taking the direction match shall consist of two innings of 36 minutes each innings has two turns of 9 minutes with an interval of 5 minutes 7.7.3 fundamental skills these can be classified into two types chasing and running skills let's discuss chasing skills first giving kho 
A member of the team which is chasing gives Ko by lightly touching his teammate on the back and says Ko. Please see figure 7.28. After receiving Ko, a chaser should take the first step in the direction in which she or he wants to go. The chaser, after reaching the pole, holds the post with one hand and with strongly holding the feet on the ground. She or he moves body forward as far as possible to touch a runner with the other hand. This skill is also called pole dive. Please check figure 7.29. When an active runner touches by extending an arm, it is called trapping. Chaser can bounce or dive to touch a runner if she or he feels that she or he can do so. A dive can be of the following types. Sitting dive, turning dive, running dive, pole dive and side dive. Activity 7.17 Practice all fundamental skills. Play a match against other sections. Figure 7.27 shows a Kho pole tackle. In the image we can see three Kho Kho players sitting. One is holding the pole and extending her left arm trying to touch the opponent. Figure 7.28 shows how Kho is given from the back. In figure 7.29 we can see how a co chase is done. Page number 101. Techniques of getting up. These techniques can be monkey crawl, standing or both. In monkey crawl, both hands should touch the ground without the body weight falling on them. Torso should be parallel to the ground. Eyes should watch the runner's feet, but the head should not be lifted up. In this, the chaser can use any method to touch the runner. In the standing style, the chaser gets up slowly while turning the shoulder and then decides the direction to be taken to chase the runner. Techniques of sitting in a square There are two techniques, namely the toe method and the parallel toe method. In toe method, the players sit in the square keeping feet apart with one foot ahead of the other. The player shall sit with the support of the hands spread out. In parallel toe method, the chaser sits in the square and the feet are kept parallel to each other. Hands are placed outside the center lane and fingers form a bridge. The knees are kept bent and parallel to each other. Running skills The runners come in batches of three and take up scattered positions on the court. In chain, the runner runs in a zigzag manner from one post to the other. When the player runs around two chasers in a zigzag manner from one post to the other, it is called a double chain. 7.8 Volleyball Some of you are already enjoying playing volleyball. Do you know how this game originated? Let us discuss. Volleyball was invented by William G. Morgan in the year 1895. This game was invented as a recreational game. At first, volleyball was played without a net, throwing the ball from one group to the other. Then a net was used at a 7 feet height. Thereafter, volleyball became one of the popular sports in the world. Volleyball can be played indoor or outdoor. Volleyball was introduced in 1964 Tokyo Olympics. Time for some activity now. Activity 7.18 Draw a volleyball court on a chart paper or blackboard with all specifications and discuss with your classmates. Page number 102 7.8.1 Court Dimensions Court is 18 by 9 meter Diagonal it is 20.12 meter Attack line is 3 meter from the center 7.8.2 Equipment required An antenna is a flexible rod 1.80 meter long with a diameter of 10 mm made of fiberglass or similar material. The posts supporting the net are placed at a distance of 0 0.50 to 1 meter outside the sidelines. The posts mounted on the ground are 2.55 meter high 
and preferably adjustable and rounded. Ball The ball is spherical, made of flexible leather or synthetic leather case with a bladder inside made of rubber or a similar material. Its circumference is 65 to 67 centimeter and its weight is 260 to 280 grams. Activity 7.19 Prepare volleyball court and measure its dimensions correctly on field. Practice all fundamental skills. 7.8.3 How to play volleyball There are two teams comprising 12 players each. The referee does the toss to decide upon who chooses to serve first or select the side. If a deciding set is to be played, a new toss will be carried out. After the toss, only six players from each team including the libero start playing the game. Free zone is 5 meters from the sidelines and 8 meters from the end lines. All lines are 5 cm wide, light in color and different from the color of the floor. Attack line 3 meters away from the center line marks the front zone. Attack line is extended by the addition of broken lines from sidelines. Front zone is limited by the axis of the center line and the rear edge of the attack line. The front zone is considered to extend beyond the sidelines to the end of the free zone. Service zone is a 9 meter wide area behind each end line. It is laterally limited by two short lines, each 15 cm long, drawn 20 cm behind the end line as an extension of the sidelines. Net top is set at the height of 2.43 meter for men and 2.24 meter for women. Height is measured at the center of the court to score a point, to win a set and the match point. A team scores a point by successfully grounding the ball on the opponent's court. Fault. A team also scores a point if their opponent touches the ball more than three times or any opponent touches the ball twice continuously. Block will not be counted as a touch. A point will also be awarded if fault is committed. Activity 7.20 Draw a diagram of volleyball court with all the measurements. Page number 103. At the top of the page, we have a figure. Figure 7.30. Volleyball court. A volleyball court is 18 meters long and 9 meters wide. We call the length side as the sideline and the width side as the back line. The distance of center line to front zone is 3 meters. The length of the back zone is 6 meters. Net top is set at the height of 2.43 meter for men and 2.24 meter for women. Height is measured at the center of the court. Free zone is 5 meters from the sidelines and 8 meters from the end lines. All lines are 5 cm wide. Attack line is 3 meters away from the center line. Service zone is a 9 meter wide area behind each end line. It is laterally limited by two short lines, each 15 cm long, which are drawn 20 cm behind the end line as an extension of the sidelines. Consequences of winning a rally A rally is the sequence of playing actions from the moment of the service hit by the server until the ball is out of play. If the serving team wins a rally, it scores a point and continues to serve. If the receiving team wins a rally, it scores a point and gets right to serve. To win a seat, a set except the deciding fifth set is won by the team which first scores 25 points with a minimum lead of 2 points. In the case of a tie, that is 24 each, play is continued until a 2 point lead is achieved. Example 26 24, 27 25. To win the match, the team that wins three sets wins match. In the case of a 2-2 tie, the deciding set, the fifth, is played to 15 points with a minimum lead of 2 points. Default and incomplete team. If a team refuses to play after being instructed to do so, it will be declared as a default and match shall be forfeited in favor of the opponent 
with the result of 0 against 3 for the match and 0 against 25 for each set. Rotation Rotation order is determined by the team's starting lineup and controlled with the service order and players' positions throughout the set. When the receiving team has gained the right to serve, its players rotate one position clockwise. The player in position 2 rotates to position 1 to serve. The player in position 1 rotates to position 6, etc. Activity 7.21 Make two teams and play a volleyball match with points. Page number 104 Rotational Fault A rotational fault is committed when the service is not made according to the rotation order. As a result, the team loses rally and a point. You are just listening to this audiobook. Narrator, Neeraj Yadav. Technical Coordinator, Bati Langlingdo. Sound Recordist, Vikas Sangwan. Assistance in Production, Ruchi Sharma. Directed and produced by Vimilesh Chaudhary. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.